Okay, now that we've uh, gotten our layers, we can actually turn off the selection tool. We won't need it anymore. And we need to play with the frame. So let's make these two layers invisible. And actually it's very easy. You can actually play with the values, red, green, blue, or the whole thing at once. Or you can use these little picker tools. Kind of speeds things up. So let's find something black. And we're not really going to worry about what's going to happen to the picture. Because we're just working on the frame. Now we want something white. Now well, that looks pretty good for the frame. So let's click OK. That was just a quick quickie. Now let me show you. We still got this just fine. And we're going to make this black and white. So we come up here to colors. To saturate. Oops. <laughs> you see what happened? I still have the frame chosen. So cancel. Make sure the black and white layer is selected. Color to saturate. And you just change that to what? looks the best probably hard to see uh, that has a little more pop to it so let's click OK now I'm going to duplicate this layer because I'm going to show you how to make it look a little more antique. Let's make that invisible. Actually, no, let's get rid of that. Let's first start with this. Technically, a grayscale, I find, gives you more detail. And yeah, we can still use the little shortcut going to pick a white point and it's pretty white right there as you can see the arrow jumped right to there that's probably a little too much let's pick a black spot right up in her hair is about the darkest and that really improved it but it almost made it too dark so let's maybe bring out a little more white And take out the gray, I mean the black. And we don't want to overdo any one point. And we can play with the midtones. That's too much. That's close. Now that looks pretty good. Her face looks good. Down here in the dress looks good. So let's click OK. Now let's duplicate this layer. And let's maybe bring back a little antique look to it. Go back to levels. And this is what happens when you play with the tools. <laughs> you don't want to play with the levels too much or you're going to start losing information. But let's maybe add a couple of colors to it. Maybe red and yellow. 
that's blue. There we're getting yellows. Don't want too much. Just enough to accent it. And let's go into red. We want to add a little red. And that looks pretty good. I probably got too many yellows. So let's go back to blue. Drop that. And that looks pretty good. Still a little antique looking. Now, let's see the before and after. Okay, that's just straight grayscale. And that's just adding a little blue and yellow. I mean, yellow and red to it. So, that's it for black and white. Let's turn on the color. Now I have played with this. I'm going to end up with a little bluing down here. So we need to be careful. Okay, you see that? That's all messed up. I made a mistake. I'm still on the black and white copy. Make sure I'm on the color copy. Okay, you've seen me uh, play with just the values. Let's do an adjusting using all three colors. And I'm just basically taking the pointer to where it's just about to where the arc starts. And it's really hard to see that there's some bluing right in there. Let's see if we can Bounce that out a little bit. That's too much. That's too much, but we're getting close, so it has to be a little below one. Now I'm getting the picture too yellow. And that's pretty good. Well, okay, let's kind of compare these. This is the color. This is the black and white with a little antiquing. This is the straight black and white. This is back to the color editing. Now, to me, that just has a little more bang to it. But this, I get a little more detail in the dress. So it's really a toss-up, whatever you want to do. Hope you give GIMP a try. It really does a lot. And most of all, it's free. <laughs> so, enjoy. Enjoy.